So here's an impromptu video, and I'm just holding this crazy camera in my hand. I should say my phone. I came unplugged. Hang on. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Here we go. Oh, wait. That's what I dropped. The glue stick. Okay. Hang on. This is not easy to do one-handed. Okay. It's a good start on this one. We'll see where it ends up. Interesting. Hey, this is uh, the third video I've made with this piece. Right now I'm going to add uh, the gilding wax, the gold gilding wax. This is on a piece of Corian, and it is uh, with alcohol inks, and the, this shiny stuff is uh, glue out of hot glue gun. And now I'm going to add the magic, which is this gold gilding paste, if they're wax, I should say, and it brings out all of the cool details of the, the glue. I like to apply this with a brush. A little bit gets on, you know, like, the Corian, but that's okay. Just rub it a little bit, blends right in. Otherwise, if you were to do it just line by line, you would more than likely end up insane. <laughs> but maybe not. You know, it's kind of meditative to do that too. I was applying it that way for a little while, but then it, it got a little bit too tedious for me. Isn't that pretty? So much fun. Love the way this just pops off of the substrate. And the designs you can get with the, the hot glue, the higher you hold it up in the air, the more of these lacy things you'll end up getting. They almost look like, uh, like a metal chain. This wax goes a long way. So this is a work in progress. I'm not nearly finished with it yet. I'm not sure what I'll do down here. 
yet. I'm not sure what the orientation will be, vertical, horizontal. So many possibilities. That's good, I think. And I can come back in and add this more. You know, if I add inks and things, sometimes the gold gets covered up. And it's like one of the last things I do when I'm finishing a piece is uh, I'll go back in and hit the gold again. Hit the glue with the gold there. How much fun is that? So stay tuned. There'll be more. This is still a work in progress. Alcohol inks on Corian hot glue. Hmm, this one will be interesting to see where it goes. Holding the phone, just adding more glue. It'll be a quick one, a quick video. So that's it for now. Gotta let it cool off. And <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I'm adding the gilding wax. Did I get that in the camera? Gold, gold, gold. my favorite part although putting the glue down is fun too well it's all fun <laughs> if it ain't fun i'm done that's my motto it's been my motto since i retired in 2017 if it ain't fun i'm done if i can be life's too short not to have fun not to be happy I'm going to keep going, and who knows how far, <clears throat> what this will end up like. Oh, there's a lot over here. 
so pretty. Okay, this is actually upside down. This is on a piece of large Corian, which is countertop material. But up. Hang on, I gotta move this phone in a weird way. I'll put this on the easel. So this is what it looks like going in this direction. This is the way it's gonna hang. Yeah, it's coming along. So this one is finished. Another hot glue painting. This one measures 30 by 18. It's on Corian. This one I'm really happy with. Oh, this was so much fun to do. And you never know what you're going to get until you put the golding or the gold uh, gilding wax on it, and then it just it's magic. So much magic. So this one I need to drill holes in to get ready to hang. So yeah, if you haven't tried this technique, check out my other videos. Give it a whirl. It's so much fun. Thanks for watching. Denise Johnson signing off from my outer space studio. Okay, and this one I'm in the process of sealing it. I'm using uh, Nova. 207 Nova Gel, and I've watered it down, and I've put it into a squirt bottle. It's pretty runny, but it's going to hold all those little bits of wayward hot glue in place. You can see these are moving here. If you can see that, those will be locked down after this dries. She's using one of those cheap foam brushes. It works pretty well. Gets in all the nooks and crannies. What is a cranny anyway? I know what a nook is, I think. <laughs> I'm not so sure about the cranny. See, these are all loose down here, but that one especially, that one will be all dry by tomorrow. So I don't know how interesting this is, but <clears throat> I don't know. I just had the urge to record a little bit of it. So I did. I am. People up here. Their hair. A lot of characters showed up in this one. You never know who's gonna make an appearance. It's a little bit more up there. That's a pretty big painting too. This uh, I don't know what is it. Uh, oh, I wrote it down there. It's 18 by 30. That doesn't sound right. 18 by 30. I don't know. That's big. It's on Corian. Quarter inch Corian. I also paint on half inch Corian. And if I were to use that size Corian half inch, um, you know, for something like this, it would weigh a ton. This is quarter inch, so it's... Very doable. Oh, I hear the geese. 
I'll take it to the door. Let's listen to the geese. It's dark out. Oop, I hear him. They are heading north, <laughs> but they're just gathering up and getting ready to go south. <sighs> Winter's coming. Have a wonderful evening.